Welcome back to Ant Lies The Channel. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. Trust me, guys, you do not want to miss out on my daily bills. Now, I like I always say, I got your back. The channel gang, you already know I got your back. New subscribers, you will find out that I got your back. I have 118 videos currently for NBA 2K22 current gen and this right here is 119 i am a official nba 2k22 professional builder i am the hardest working in quotations builder for nba 2k22 current gen and that is proven facts because i have 119 builds currently and nobody is even close to that number now, this right here is a perimeter defender at power forward. I've never seen it before, so I checked before I said the first ever. But it is one guy that does have it. But if you go look at perimeter defender on YouTube and you see his build and you'll see my build, you will see that my build is better by a mile, a clear mile. He has a great build because he found it first, so big ups to that guy. Y'all check him out, see what he got. But you already know Ant Lives where it's at. So let's get into this build. Now we're gonna we're gonna take Hall of Fame shooting and Hall of Fame defense. This is a perimeter defender with Hall of Fame finishing and Hall of Fame shooting. This build is nasty. Now we're gonna go to the skill breakdown, right? And I thought about going going here to give him a little bit more vert. And you can, but it's going to make them kind of slow, right? And I want them to be fast as possible. So I'm going to come right here to this physical profile, the speed pie chart. No, we're not going up in this weight. We're dropping this weight. Trust and believe that. Now, we want to take a close shot to 80. We're going to bring his driving lane up to just a 70. Okay. Now, it's standing up. We'll go all the way up. And his driving up. I mean, his standing up will go up. And his driving up will go all the way up. Nothing on this mid range. I have a post fade tutorial. It's called um, Fade Away Tutorial. Learn how to shoot fadeaways like Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant. Check it out and you will see. Now bring his free throw to 76. My fault. Now, nothing on this pass accuracy. That means this build is a complete straight up score. And it's a perimeter defender. See what I'm saying? But it's a straight, flat-out score. He is not passing when he gets the ball. He's either going to go to the hole and dunk at you, or he's going to shoot a fadeaway, or he will be able to shoot the three. Trust me. Now, watch. Now, his interior defense, we just want to bring that to 66. We want to bring his um, perimeter all the way up to 61, and then we're going to bring his lot of quickness all the way up to 60. Then we're going to bring his steal all the way up to 63, and then we're going to bring his block all the way up as well and then we're going to finish the rest out on his defensive rebound and then we got three left and where do we put the three at on this last three i'm missing something folks 87 uh okay we got one on this hold on we're going to find it we got one on this post control a matter of fact i believe we go to no Okay, so take my fault. Bring his post control to 68. My fault, people. All right, so that's going to give him a total badge count of 12 finishing, 18 shooting. I mean, 16 shooting, which is 28 plus the 6. That's 34. And then with the 8 defensive defense and rebound badges, it gives this build 42 badges. 42 badges is good. So once you take them over and if you get this build to legend um, once you get the legend four times during the six seasons or seven seasons, then this build is going to have an extra 40 of badges. Plus, you get one extra badge point. I guess they're going to keep doing that. So, you can accumulate your badges. And you already know if you do that, it has what 44, 44 badges or 42 badges. I can't remember. But let me see. Let me check this out again. We got 28, 34, 42. So, like I said, if you play four seasons, and you get four extra badges in those four seasons. That means this build, that's going to be extra four. So that's going to be 46. Then you're going to get the top 40 on that. This is going to be an 86 badge build at the end of the day. Okay. Now, let's get into this. We're going to go with calm. We're going to go with, we're going to go with define. We'll drop them to 6'8. 
We're even going to drop his weight all the way down to 185. Matter of fact, we're going to bring him. We're going to bring him right here to 192. Okay, we're going to bring him to 192. And then what we're going to do? We're going to drop his wingspan right here to 81.0. Now you see he will have a pro dunk at 99 overall, and he will have an 83 ball. This is a perimeter defender. That's crazy. That's what makes this build a true demigod. And then he's going to have a 70 ball handle. So he's going to have a nice ball handle as well because you're going to be able to get combination packages out of this build. So at 99 overall, now we already know we got the 10. So that's the 10 of your finishing, a 5 of your shooting, a 5 of your playmaking, and a 5 of your defensive rebound, and a 10 to your physicals. And that is the slasher takeover. It is the only takeover that gives you a 10 to your physicals. And that's what's going to turn the build into a pure athlete. And the fact that you can ignite it at any time and get 10 of your physicals. But at 99 overall, once you ignite it, that's when this build is going to clearly stand out. Now, at 99 overall, you're going to have a close shot of 82, a driving layup of 87, a standing, a driving dunk of 80, and a standing dunk of 75. And then you have a post hook of 50. Now, once you ignite that size to take over 99 overall, that close shot is going to turn into a 92. Your driving layup will be an 88. Your driving dunk will be a 90. And your standing dunk will be an 85. And your post hook will be a 60. That's crazy. So when you're hot, you're on. Your this build will be on, and you go. It's, you already know it's just going to be a flat, pro, flat out problem for whoever's choosing to guard you. Now, your mid range will. You got a plus one, so we're going to call it out. Your mid range will be 55 and 99 overall. Your three pointer will be at 80. Your free throw will be at 81, and then your post fade. Like I said, his post fade. You can shoot the the fadeaway jump shot anywhere inside the three point line. You do not have to, just because it's a power forward, you don't have to play like a big man and try to back him down and back him down. You can dribble into your fadeaway from the high post, anywhere in the high post, and shoot the three ball. I mean, shoot the fadeaway, and it's going to drop nets. Now, at 99 overall, once you ignite that size to take over, that mid-range will turn into a 60. Your three-pointer is going to be at 85. A perimeter defender with an 85 three ball, that's nuts. Now, your free throw that can finish is even crazier. Now, your free throw will be an 86, and then your post fade will be a 97. Whew, offensive problem. Now, your ball handle will be a 70 at 99, and then your post control will be a 71. But once your night decides to take over at 99 overall, that ball handle is going to turn into a 75, and your post control is going to turn into a uh, 76. That's nice. That's real nice. This is a nice build. Now, in your interior defense at 99 overall will be a 62. Your, lateral, your perimeter defense will be a 72. Your lateral quickness will be a 71. Your steal will be a 70. Your block will be a 67. And then your defensive rebound will be a 72. That is solid numbers all the way across the board. And once you ignite the slash and take over, because you get a five of your defensive rebound, that, that interior defense is going to turn into a um, 67. Your, per your um, perimeter defense will turn into a 77. Your lateral quickness will turn into a 76. Your steal will turn into a 75. Your block will turn into a 72. And then your defensive rebound will turn into a 77. When you're hot with this build, you you know that you got one. You got one because you're straight all the way across the board. All your numbers are legit. When you get hot on this build, even when you're not, you're going to cause a lot of problems with this build. This is a nice fast break build also. Now, as far as your physicals are concerned, now you get the gym rat badge this, these three ways you can get it. Well, you can't get it three ways. You can only get two ways, but you can get your fours if you want to go to the gym. And you get all fours for your physicals. You can get it that way. Also, the other way is getting to level 40 for your gym rat badge. And then, of course, the easiest way is winning the NBA championship. All you have to do is win, uh, play 10 games, start, I mean, start until you get to um, become a starter. Once you become a starter, it usually takes only 10 games. Once you become a starter, sim all the way to the end of the season, win the championship, and then get your gym rat badge. That is the way I would recommend it. 
Now, and not, and and then of course we already know you get the nine. You get once you get the ninety nine overall, you get an extra four to your um, physicals. So once you like this build a ninety nine overall with the slash to take over, you get a, basically an eighteen point jump because you get a plus ten to your physicals, right? So you're going to be at 85 speed and 99 overall, at 83 acceleration, a vertical of 75, and then you're going to have a strength of 57. But once you ignite that slash and takeover, that's when this build dramatically shifts. When you're hot with this build, you, you're going to have a 95 speed, you're going to have a 93 acceleration, and then you're going to have an 85 vertical, and then you're going to have a strength of 67. So when you come through the hole with this build, you're going to get created contact dunks. You have Hall of Fame finishing. So you know you're going to rock on them. This is crazy. This is a nice build. This is the best perimeter defender on the game. And like I said, we got the 10. So we're going to take the slash takeover. And there you have it. Perimeter defender Jeremy Grant's exact build. This is legitly his exact build. This is a nice exact build for Jeremy Grant. I've been seeing his name, but I didn't want to give him anything that didn't didn't remind me of him. And this is Jeremy Grant's exact build, guaranteed. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel. Trust me, guys, you do not want to miss out on my daily bills. And as I always say, I got your back. Big ups to the channel, gang. Mad respect to you guys. You already know I got your back. And what I'm going to do now is just test the build. And what I mean by test the build, I'm just going to show you where I would place the badges if I was to use this build. So I got 12 finishing, right? So we're going to go fast twitch right here, right? Then we're going to go fearless finisher. Grace under pressure, silver. Mm, this is a tough one because we got 12 so right I'm going to take this here fast right here then I'm going to go here mm, no because we got to have unstrippable at all times unstrippable must be hall of fame alright so I'm going to go unstrippable and that's going to stop you from getting your blocks dumped okay now when you somebody blocks your dunk from behind that is basically a strip block like if you go up and you notice the dude will smack the ball out of your hand not smack it in the air not smack it but when you go up and you cock back or anything and he knocks it out your hand that is basically a strip block that's what they call a strip block okay now we got 16 hall of fame shooting badges of course we're going to use fade A's. and what i'm going to do right here is i'm going to show you how i would do this build because i use real player shoot um timing and i do not use um the shot meter or shot timing okay so i'm gonna go lucky seven as well hot zone hunter and catch and shoot this build is nasty and this is going to drop especially the fade days your lucky seven and all that you already know how to create your jump shot to make it work so it's going to work now you got uh six playmaking and this is key hmm we're gonna go silver unpluckable because we do have a hall of fame unstrippable right then we're going to help out his dribble with a hyperdrive. And we got two more, right? I'm going to go glue hands. I, I can't touch his speed in my fault. Where is quick first step? Quick first step right there. Okay? Quick first step. We got to have it. It's mandatory. So this is where I would go with this build. And the reason why I would go glue hands silver, because if you go here, you're going to still get that hitch from the fast break when you notice if you guys that are new do not have glue hands glue hands are so key because this is your players mechanics it improves the ability to catch difficult passes and quickly put the ball on the floor that means when you catch you turn and dribble and run with the ball right so that's like I said this is one of the most important badges to the build because you got to be able to catch and go and that's to your detriment to your speed so we're going to go with glue hand silver so you won't notice that hitch okay now we got eight defensive badges on this build I'm going to chase down mm. intimidator okay and then we're going to go with rim protector this rim protector um gold and this is why we go with this and this is what's going to make this build stand out because you're going to block shots 
with the rim protector and you're going to get a little bit of animations from chase down to throw it off the glass but also if somebody's trying to shoot the three on you you're going to jump up with this build and time them at this at the correct moment and rim protector will show up because you're protecting the rim from a three-point shot rim protector and intimidated will show up as well trust me believe me i've done it i do it all the time and it's still going to work for you too all right and there you have it perimeter defender that is a flat out problem on the offensive end and guys are going to say man how's that perimeter defender doing what he is doing only here at ant Liza channel will you find this build don't forget to like share and subscribe hit that notification bell if you are new to the channel and as i always say i got your back big ups to the um, channel game y'all already know i got your back and i am out